What if I told you one kid could bring a whole community together? That he could inspire a nation? What if I told you that all he needed was two minutes? That not even Down syndrome could stop him? That dreams really do come true? What if I told you they're not just his teammates, but his family? That they're the reason behind it all? That it is more than just a game? That his story has just begun? always been around basketball. His older sister played basketball, so he basically grew up in a gym, basketball gym. How he got involved with the basketball team. He started in middle school, and it was, since he was interested in basketball and he went to all his sister's games, um, we, had a co we had approached Coach McCabe at Schaefer to see if he could be the basketball manager. So basically then he would stay at practice sometimes and get out the pennies or whatever, water bottles for the kids and the basketballs. Um, before he came to the high school, we had met with Mr. Mullen and also um, we had run into Mr. Purr one day at Sam's and he said, Kevin, I know you're coming and Mr. Morris apparently had told him that they had a new basketball manager coming to the high school. So from freshman year on, um, it, it just worked out great and a lot of people have worked with them to develop that job, make it a little bit more than it was freshman year. Um, freshman year he probably struggled a little bit with the water. but. Um, his physical therapist, Rita Geddes, worked with them as far as, you know, filling the water cups, getting them quicker, cleaning up spills, um, making sure he could wrap the extension cord from the clock. So he's, he's developed the job a lot more over the four years that he's been manager. But it seemed like every year there were, the team just stepped up and, and embraced him and made him part of the team. He, he's had a lot of fun over the years. I'm Rita Geddes, physical therapist with the Bucks County Intermediate Unit, and I work in the Ben Salem School District. Um, I've worked with Kevin since he was in kindergarten, and uh, Kevin has to work really hard at learning gross motor skills. Uh, he needs a lot of extra practice for things. So when he came to the high school and he expressed an interest in being basketball manager, um, we came up with a plan with his family and with the basketball coaches for him to be able to do that. So some of the things he needed to be able to do were carry cups of water uh, to the players when there was a timeout or at halftime, and um, setting up and taking down the clock that they used to run at practice. So wrapping the extension cord for that, re-racking basketballs, things like that. Um, you know, this is, I've been, you know, I'm 47 years old. I've been playing basketball for, you know, probably 40 playing or coaching since I was about seven years old. And, uh, you know, um, I haven't played, my whole family's played, I've you know, been to Final Fours, Olympic Games, and NBA Finals, and um, this experience has been unmatched, it really has. The feeling that I have had is, I've never had this, uh, such a feeling of satisfaction, it's been great. Um, well, we go back, me and Kevin, six years ago. Uh, he was a seventh grader at Schaefer, I was teaching there. Um, and just since then, he just, he has something special about him. His personality is awesome. Um, and he was always accepted like by the student body there. He was actually our manager at Schaefer. I taught, or when I taught there, I coached there for two years as well. And he was our manager there. And I just, he was just awesome to be around. Um, and he's just grown, he's, he has grown. He's become more mature and he has become more confident. You know, Ke Kevin's heart is just so big. So to, to see Kevin in the hallway, you're gonna get a hug. Kevin's gonna walk up and tell me I'm bald. He's gonna, you know, give me like a little nugget on my head and remind me that I'm bald. Meaning it starts with his parents. You know, it, it's not easy to raise a special needs ch child. And, and what I found out, and it's easy to say because my children aren't special needs, if you treat them like they're special needs, it's gonna be different. And what Kevin's parents did a great job of, and what I feel my mother-in-law does a nice job of, is they treat their child like your parents treat you and my parents treat me. So I think it starts at home. Kevin's parents raise Kevin just like any other parent will raise their child. 
I mean, our theory has always been to make them very involved in, in the community and in athletics to, this, number one, the social interaction. Uh, children with uh, disabilities, it's important to increase their social interaction uh, from both sides. Uh, one, it breaks down barriers between the, the people he's interacting with, and it also develops his ability to socialize. Uh, so that's important to us, and also to have the community uh, feel comfortable with Kevin in the environment, and we've seen that at Ben Salem, specifically the school where Kevin now is embraced more by the students, and the students are comfortable with him. Um, so uh, typically on a Saturday, uh, we're bowling, uh, taking the shows, uh, we'll uh, go to basketball games at colleges. We really try and fill it every day with them. Um, uh, because, uh, you know, we're his social life. He doesn't really have, if we're not taking him, and, and we're very fortunate. In today's society, there's a lot to do with children with disabilities. There's Special Olympics. There's a group he deals with called Hopes and Dreams that puts on Broadway shows that are adapted for kids with disabilities. There's, uh, I'm trying to think of all the different groups. There's dances. Dances. Uh, So when Kevin's parents came to us and said that they want him to be a part of, of the Owls Television Network, which is the media communications class, it was, it was something that we had to think about. Would he be able to handle coming in and, and anchoring and editing and, and being in the general uh, population classroom doing this kind of work? And we decided to go for it, and they were incredibly supportive. Uh, the amount of support from his family is unbelievable. But you know, he enjoys the, the OTN group and the fact that he's involved with that. and. Um, he takes. He actually takes a lot of pride in being in the OTN group uh, because, to him, it's a very important part of his life, um, and and his one of his big goals is to stay involved in, in productions. And also, to him, it's a big focus of his life. Um, he uh, he enjoys videos. He enjoys editing. He enjoys a lot of it, and he's learned a lot from the OTN group. When we first found out, we probably knew a little bit before Kevin that Coach Malm was intending to suit him up for the last two games, or at least the last game. The last we game, thought, primarily. Like with the weather, it got changed around a little bit. But um, then he asked Kevin if he wanted to to put on a uniform and play, you know, a little bit of the game. And Kevin was very surprised. He wasn't sure how to handle it because he knew that that's not what he was supposed to do. Like he knew he's manager, but he was excited about it to actually put on a uniform like the other guys. Um, what happened next was pretty crazy. Nobody expected that to happen.
Kevin Grow has Down syndrome, a disorder that affects almost everything the 18-year-old does on a daily basis. One thing it does not have domain over is his jump shot. That's right, Max. The team manager for the Ben Salem High School Owls proved that by coming off the bench on senior night. Rained down four threes. Caught the attention of at least one senior. are back in town. They'll be playing this week in our area along with one local superstar who will be making his debut with the team. New member of the Globetrotters oh, yeah. that we want to talk about, Kevin G. Kevin Grow, my yeah. man, give it up. How you doing, man? Doing good. Doing good? Yeah. My man, you ready for this? Yeah. I don't know if anybody heard this story, but Kevin, you reigned four out of five three-pointers for your high school team, Ben Sale. Yeah. Against Nishamani, right? Yes. You were killing it. Four out of five. Yeah. You ready for your next move? He joined the Sixers. They gave him a contract. And now, Hamlet, what's happening now? Now he will join the world-famous Harlem Globetrotter. He, like Wilk Chamberlain, signed with the Sixers and now signed with the Harlem Globetrotter. So Whoa. he's in great, great company. Now, TNT, we need a uniform, don't we? Yeah, yes, we got right. something special for him. Uh-oh. Check uh -oh. this out. His very own Kip. nickname. Uh-oh, KG3. KG3. Look at that smile. KG3. Yes, Look at yes. that smile. Are you ready for this? Got yes. Are you exactly. nervous? No. No, <laughs> not at all. Now, you're going to be the three-point specialist, correct? Mm -hmm. Yes. Man, who taught you how to shoot, Kevin? Um, I paid my message to Nar. Your sister? Oh, wow. Yeah. Oh, that's fantastic. You got to show her some props. Yeah. All right, man, it's going to be your big night. Yeah. But now you have to do something really big right now. You have to join the Magic Circle. Mm -hmm. Have you heard of the Magic Circle before? Yeah. Uh-oh, let's do it. Oh, yeah. Come on, oh, man. Yeah. All right, we put the jersey ready. up. All right, we here we go. Ready. Ready. Don't, here, go this way. I want people to see you at home. All right, All right. you got to do a trick for me now, oh, Kevin. Yeah. Uh oh, oh. Where yeah. You at? Where you at, Kevin? I'm going to come, come right on. to you. Oh, yeah. Oh, yes, oh, Kevin. Yeah. Wait a minute. Oh, yeah. Kevin, work it, Kevin, work it. Oh, oh he's ready. He's ready. <laughs> Kevin, come over here. Oh, I want people to see this. Oh, oh. Wait, are you oh. in the circle? Oh, oh, we got you in here. Uh oh. 
Oh, where you at, T? Where you at, T? Come on. Okay, Kevin, we're going to go back to you, Kevin. We're going to go back to you because that's my buddy right there. Do it, Kevin. Do it, Kevin. 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 KG3. They call it KG3 for a reason. Come on, Kevin. Stand right here in the middle. Put that finger up. My man, KG3. Nice. Hold it. Oh, Give it yes. up, hey. KG3. Oh, I'm inspiration right here in your own school. And understand that you can do whatever you want to do in life with hard work and doing the right thing. If this is not an inspiration to you, know that us three, we are living testimonies that your dreams can come true. You ready? It seems like he handles every event that happened so far the same way. Like he was so excited to go to the Sixers and sign the contract, but you know, that after the game, the next day was a school day, and then that that's his routine that day. So um, he just kind of tends to live for the day and you know enjoy each day. That's I, for I think sure. he also enjoys the happiness of the people around him because I sense when he saw his team at the Sixers game or he saw the reaction by the crowd. Um, I think that he he is more stimulated. I mean, granted, he knew he made the three-pointers, but uh, I think to see his friends get so excited probably is, is more important to him. That, that satisfaction of, of his friends reacting to him. Yeah. I knew he was going to hit more threes because he was just on a roll. Uh, I have never been a part of something like that before, but it was uh, truly breathtaking to be a part of something like that. Uh, well, he deserves it. He works hard at every practice he goes to, and he uh, shoots every practice, and he keeps playing, you know, even though he has downtime, he's a fighter. Uh, I think this uh, really impacted me because it's something that will stand my life for, uh, for the rest of my life. I was, uh, it was surreal uh, for us. It was, uh, it was just a great moment. Uh, for our team to experience because it just kind of proves how uh, situations like Kevin's, they, they kind of transcend the game of basketball. You know, and that's really, as a coach and an educator, that's what you want to try to instill into your kids, that it's a game first, and that it's really about the people and players and students that are participating in those games. So, as an opposing coach, and I told Coach Mullen, it's just, you know, I actually thanked him for giving us the opportunity to be the team that he decided to play Kevin against because it really was, it was a, it was a life altering experience, I think, for most of our kids. Well, yeah, I think, I think we do want to uh, certainly acknowledge um, Ben Salem School District and Ben Salem High School, the students of Ben Salem, uh, for understanding and opening up their minds to embracing a child like Kevin. Um, this isn't a success story if it doesn't involve the students. The students made this special here.
of the um, Kevin Grow has inspired me and like throughout my wrestling. For a kid like that with so many like problems to keep going and make it, he's inspired me to just like keep pushing every day and try to be better. To make sure every dream is possible. Showed me that no matter what a disability you have, you can change your dreams. Kevin Grow inspired me because he's got a great smile. Kevin Grow inspired me because although he faced difficulties, he got through them and succeeded. Because he never gave up on his dream. It shows how hard work. Kevin Grow has impacted me. To, he shows me like that anything's possible. Um, you can do anything as long as like you believe in yourself and follow your dreams. Thank you for watching YouTube by me, and uh, thank you so much. I think we're just like every parent. You're you enjoy your children's success and and because you want your children to take chances in life. It's important that you take chances because. You want your children to succeed, but if they don't succeed, your job is to pick them up and dust them off and kick them back out and make them go try again. The issue here is, um, to us, we're very fortunate that we have Kevin. To us, every day is a joy. Basketball is a game that can be played just about any time, anywhere. Those who coach and play the game share a special passion for the sport. The basketball community is, in reality, one big family. The players and coaches all share that same love for the game. We all expect to discuss how this changed Kevin and this hasn't changed Kevin. The question is how did it change us?